Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to maximize your productivity and take control of the web with user scripts. In this video, I'm going to show you what can be achieved with user scripts, and then I'm going to show you the process of creating a user script, including setting up the extension and the JavaScript coding. First, we'll look at what user scripts can do. They can automate tasks, change the appearance of a website, display useful information from external sources, add missing functionality, and much more. Tasks can be automated by running multiple lines of code. When the page loads or when a button is clicked, you can add many functions, and then you can add event listeners, and basically run any JavaScript code while you're on a page. You can simulate clicking on buttons or other elements on the page using the dot click function, or you can focus on elements with dot focus, and there are many other JavaScript functions that allow you to interact with elements on the page. You can retrieve text from elements or the source code, for example, YouTube data or text that's hidden. When you access the information, you can display the results on the page. You can change the colors or the design of a website to your preference using CSS. For example, if you want a dark background on YouTube with purple highlights, you can do that with CSS in a user script. You can remove elements that get in the way, for example, modals that ask to subscribe, or ads. You can redesign an ugly website, you can add your own custom styling that will overwrite their styling, and make it so that there's a better experience for you visiting their website. Also, you can make important information be displayed more prominently by highlighting it in another color, or making it appear at the top of the page. You can display information from external sources, for example, by using an API to look up information and display the results on the page. For example, you can access the weather using a weather API, you can access YouTube statistics using the YouTube data API, or you can access archive content and display the archive content when something's missing. More things you can do with user scripts include translating a website into your native language. For example, if there's a dropdown select which language you like, you can write a JavaScript code that will automatically change the selection of the drop-down menu and trigger the change. If there is no drop-down menu to select another language, you can make a user script that accesses Google Translate to display a translation of the page. You can autofill forms and surveys. For example, if there's a form that you fill out frequently and you don't change your answers very much, for example, if the answers are always the same or there are only very minor differences, you can have a JavaScript code automatically fill out all the information which does not change, and you can even make it submit the form. You can also use a user script to stop websites from logging you out. For example, by triggering actions once in a while to keep your session active. Or alternatively, when you get logged out, you can have a user script fill in information into the login form and press the submit button. Use your creativity. Anything you can do with JavaScript can be done with a user script. In the next video, I'll show you the full process for going about making a user script, including the setup and the programming. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!